everyone, this is Kalpana here and in this video we are going to see a problem from circuit. So let's get going. Problem. If x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y plus c equals to 0 represents a circle with radius 6, find the value of c. Solution. We are given a circle which is in standard form and also we are given its radius which is equals to 6 and we are asked to find the value of c. Okay. We know that the radius of a circle which is in standard form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0 is given by square root of g squared plus f squared minus c okay so from the hypothesis we are we have or we are given the circuit given the circuit x square plus y square minus 4x plus 6y plus c equals to 0 and its radius and radius r equals to 6 or radius 6 that is we are given radius equals to 6 g square plus f square minus c equals to 6 okay now we need to find the values of g and f by comparing these two equations and after substituting gf values in this radius that is this condition will get the value of c okay we'll get the value of c by substituting the values of g and f in this condition right so let's consider the given equation as one and the circle equation in standard form as two now we'll compare these two Compare the given equation that is equation 1 with circle equation in standard form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. Okay. Now we'll compare the quotient of x and quotient of y. By comparing the quotient of x, we'll get 2g equals to 2g equals to minus 4 and 2f equals to 6. By comparing quotient of y, we'll get 2f equals to 6, right? So from this, we'll get g equals to minus 4 by 2, which is equals to minus 2. And from this, we'll get f equals to 6 by 2, which is equals to 3. Okay? Therefore, g equals to minus 2 and f equals to 3. Right. So, now we are having the values of g and f. So, we can substitute these values in the given condition. Okay. Now, square root of g square minus 2 whole square plus f square for f equals to 3 minus c equals to 6 okay so this is this becomes square root of minus 2 whole square is 4 plus 3 square is 9 minus c equals to 6 4 plus 9 is 13 minus c equals to 6. Now we can square on both sides. Squaring on both sides. So 
square root of 13 minus c whole square equals to 6 square. This becomes square root of 13 minus c whole square is 13 minus c equals to 6 square is 36. Okay. See, you are having square root of 13 minus c whole square, right? Square root of a can be written as a power 1 by 2. Then, we can write the square root of 13 minus c as 13 minus c power 1 by 2 whole square. Also, we know that a power m whole power n equals to a power m into n. Then, you could write this as 13 minus c power 1 by 2 into 2. Take m as 1 by 2 and n as 2. Then you will get 1 by 2 into 2 which is equals to 13 minus c power 2 by 2. 1 by 2 into 2 is 2 by 2 which is equals to 13 minus c. Alright. So, you could write this as 13 minus, take this to LHS and this to RHS. You will get 13 minus 36 equals to C. 36 minus 13 is 3, 2 that is minus 23 equals to C. Therefore, C equals to minus 23. Therefore, c equals to minus 23. This completes the problem. So, we have seen a problem from circle in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.